to say Heather's. Heather, you know who this is intended for. I just left you at the train station. And by the way, you really did piss off the guy at Star Liquor. That's not a joke. He is the owner. And he does not want you ever in there again. So if you walk in, walk in by yourself, not with me, because he was crystal clear what would happen if I brought you in there again. You are off the hook out of control. But I tried to tell you that a couple of times when you walked up from Venice with me tonight, giving me the Spanish Inquisition, when we first met, when did I first get a phone from you, Blah, 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 blah. Your ideas about Heather's 2, interesting. I, one, don't own the rights to the film. Two, um, you're right, ABC wouldn't influence on that level anymore. Uh, I'd be interested in contacting them and running some of the concepts by them that I know will work. The other ones I'm not really interested in, and I told you what those are. My big concern for you right now, the rape issue you told me about with the police department, not the first time I've heard that. I'm not shocked in the least. I already told you that. But you need to learn to listen. You ask questions, and then you go, no, wait, I'm not done. And then you start to go on with other statements. And then I said something to answer your question. And then you go, hold it. Wait, what did you say? Repeat that again. I don't want to keep repeating myself. And if you need to read my lips, then we're going to have to find a spot to sit in the fucking daylight because you have a hearing problem. Either that or you need to zip your mouth more and listen more and stop talking so much. You claim we only met a year ago. That's not true. We actually met more than six years ago. And I could go back further than that, but I don't have time for the documentation or some incarnation of you. You claim to know the poser and whatever name you were using for this person who you've even seen on the beach. Well, if you've seen it, then have somebody introduce you or walk up and say, hi, is your name Heather? And why are you impersonating me? Because you're obviously not my age and you don't look like me. You look like me, you know, 10 years ago. And even then, you're much hotter than I was then. Or whatever it takes to open the line. But don't ask me to find your impersonator who I told you I haven't seen since you and your incarnation appeared on the scene. The phone you gave me on that Sunday morning and asked me to charge, I gave to Trevor, as I told you. You met me in Santa Monica. You did not give me a phone in Venice where you stated, and whoever you gave the phone to was not me. Was he 5'9"? Did he have brown eyes? Did he weigh more than I do? Because I've certainly been picked up on enough arrest warrants for this motherfucking prick, and if I find out who he is, he's going to have the size 15 shoe up his ass. I even have a current driving violation. What was I driving? I haven't driven a car in years since I've had multiple cars stolen, and not one has been paid by Geico, you fucking pricks. Fifteen minutes could save you more or cost you a fucking fortune if you insure with Geico, and that's a fact. Geico has cost me a fortune. It never paid out one fucking claim. And I've had multiple cars that were stolen under Geico insurance. So go fuck yourself, Geico. And tell the gecko to go fuck Donald Trump. I'm done with fake news. I'm done with liars. And I'm done with posers. If you're posing to set me up again, bitch. Get ready to meet your maker. And if you're not, then shut the fuck up when you ask me a question and listen to the answer. Because if you can't swallow the answer, then don't ask for it. I don't have time for patronizing bullshit. Heathers. Hmm. The fictional character, Kurt Kelly. Gay. The real Kurt Kelly. I don't know about the one who's a poser as a fucking Republican down in uh, Florida. I don't deal with pencil dicks. But I know I'm not gay. I'm a real person. I was created by a real person and illegally changed my name when I was 10. I am not 50 as IMDb would like you to believe. I am 60 that I know of, although there are reports I found in the CIA that would lead me to believe there's something much deeper. That's a whole nother story for another time. And for those of you naysayers who don't believe a shit thing that's been said here, you know what? 
go finger. You weren't intended to understand anyway. And for you and intelligence who have been fucking with this kid, I wouldn't want to be you when the shit hits the fan. And the shit is about to hit. <laughs>